pencil. Sweezy. Oh no! Our table! So, recently, as in the last couple days, I went to my 100th wedding, because it's the 100th episode of Cancel Sweezy, meaning I went to my 100th wedding. I have not counted, I have not checked, but I'm pretty sure it's like I'm at wedding 100. I have to be at wedding 100 at this point. I mean, I mean, at what point do you say that you're not at wedding 100? I bet this has to be the 100th wedding I've ever been to. I've been working so many fucking weddings in my lifetime that, you know, I thought that, yeah, you know, I'm just going to say this was my 100th wedding I've ever worked at. So, um, like I said, I was at a wedding, so obviously when I do anything... I have to talk about it. Uh, it's the drummer in one of the band in a band I play with. He also plays with uh, Jacob Gapsch, and we will also be playing at Rose Music Hall in Columbia, Missouri, on December, November twenty third. So make sure you're cool and check that out. Come on, Mark, don't be stingy. Uh, and so he wanted to play, you know, music at the wedding. So like we all obliged and decided to join him, you know, and play it because I'm the o- I'm the only bass player who knows how to play music. So obviously I had to. I had to come up, come up in May. Um, I don't have that one, uh, and you know, help him out. So, you know, no, I only had to play at the reception. Like, I, there was nothing I needed to be there for the actual rehearsal dinner for. So I had to go to the rehearsal dinner. Uh, but like when they were doing the actual rehearsal part, I was just like, nah, because we had to do a sound check the day before because I, we didn't know if we'd have time to do a sound check. You know, the day of yada yada yada, a lot, a lot of shit. A lot of fucking shit. So, show up to rehearsal dinner, you know, we sat, set, set up, you know, good, good. We could. Um, so, I'm, I'm, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm a bit of a wild card. I was a little bit of a, you know, goofball, knucklehead. Um, I identify as a fucking threat. To some people. So, you know, uh, the bride thought I was just going to be, you know, just starting a whole, whole bunch of shit the entire wedding, you know. And, and that's very similar to my mom, thinking I'm going to start a bunch of shit at my dad's funeral. I don't know what it is about me. I guess it's just the wild card nature in me uh, is what's going on. I think it's just being a wild card in general that gives me this, you know, whole notion that, hey, uh, I have surprises for you that's going to happen. Uh, are they good? Are they bad? No. But should you be worried? Yes. Apparently, that is a whole ass thing that people cleared me for so like they thought so i've just had to live my life and we're like okay problem is that uh i was not allowed to be on a microphone for this entire wedding true story true story you think like oh you're working at a wedding you're probably gonna have a microphone you've worked at this is your hundredth wedding uh clearly you're gonna have access to a microphone uh nope did not have access to a microphone uh and even though i sang background vocals on a couple songs that's the thing i actually sang background vocals and i was getting ready to set up to do it and like they're like no you can't be on a microphone i'm like okay let's just let's just fucking let's just fucking do this let's just get this over with so we we did songs with just one vocal could have background vocals but no no it was just it's, that's the way it is um uh you know that's rough buddy so uh, anyways um you know, I do. I do want to say though, I, I want to give a life hack to all the human beings out there, beans uh, out there. Don't get super high before a wedding ceremony, um, uh, especially if you're actually in the wedding party. I was not in this wedding party, uh, so I felt like I can get high. No one gives a shit. You know, <laughs> I'm like, I don't give a high. So you know, it's like when you're high. And, you know, it's fun when you're high and you just watch TV or play video games, you know, just goofing around. But there's something different to, like, when you're really high and you're in a room and you're supposed to be quiet. And then a pastor starts giving a sermon. Uh, This pastor decided that he wanted to add a sermon into his fucking wedding reception. He started bringing up, like, divorce and shit. I was like, this is, and I was, like, trying to tell everyone, this is weird. It's really weird, but I was also high and uh, just try not to talk, so it's it's weird. And I want to bring this up here for a second. Church sermons are just TED Talks about the Bible, sometimes about being a conservative, but they're mainly just TED Talks about the Bible. You can't tell me that's all church is. Church is just a shitty cover band and then a TED Talk about Jesus. That's all... That is all church is. It's just a cover band and a TED Talk, 
and try to prove me wrong, okay? Try to prove me wrong. I identify as a fucking threat. Yeah, I didn't think so. I didn't think so. Uh, but anyways, though, uh, even if you go to a real TED Talk, I would say don't show up to a real TED Talk high. Um, unless you're a professional pothead. Um, in that case, you're, you're, just, you're just living your life at this point. But when you don't smoke weed like I do, and then you occasionally do it, and you're like high, high off your ass, uh, just fucking listen to church sermons, and you're like, you know, you promised not to get divorced. I'm like, okay, that's okay. Can we not bring up divorce at the at the wedding? There was divorce in there. I don't remember it, but I remember there was divorce in it. I'm like, that's. I don't think you should be bringing up divorce at the wedding. Okay, I think if you're gonna bring up getting a divorce, I think every other day but the wedding is probably the day to do it. That's just me. Um, but, uh, yeah, but anyways, the, the wedding was actually very nice. It was a very nice wedding. Uh, I was just really high listening to a sermon. I think that was the weird part. And, uh, maybe it wasn't as bad as I thought it would be, but, uh, I think those two little factors, um, really, really, you know, that, uh, that was just, I, uh, I, I don't know what was going through my head. So don't, don't, so that's my lesson. Don't smoke weed and, uh, listen to a sermon because it's just going to be, uh, weird and, uh, Yeah. Uh, next story I apparently have to talk about, <laughs> apparently, this, this is, a this is an oopsie on my end, I will say, it's a very big oopsie, so, you know, when I usually play music, uh, majority of the time, this is about 97% of the time, 3% of the times, it's like, it maybe could be an all-age show, but 97% of the time, we're in a bar where, uh, the legal, you have to be 21 to enter, or maybe 18 to enter, 21 to drink. So that's, that, that's, those are the bars, those are the places I usually play. This is the type of guy you get. And so, yeah, so, let's just remember, let's remember that factor. Um, so, and when I play music, you know, one thing, and I want to tell this to all musicians out there, that when you're playing music, you want to make a connection with people who are listening to you play music. That's just, you know, I think that's just the normal fucking thing to do. Um, and when I make eye contact with, uh, and I'm going to say exclusively women, uh, here, I just wink at them because then they're like, oh, the guy likes me and shit like that. And, you know, I was like, I don't go up to him after the show and talk to him. I barely, I barely talk to real women. I only, I only talk to men, apparently. I apparently, I flirt better with men than I do with women, 100%. I don't know why. I'm just like, I'm going to, I'm going to suck your titties, boy. <laughs> just fucking, I don't know. Um, so yeah, you know, I'm trying to do that. Apparently, and then later on in the night, I, I get told that, oh yeah, apparently you've been winking at a 14-year-old on it. I'm like, I didn't do anything wrong. I, all I did, all I did was do stage shit that I usually do at shows that are 21 and older. I mean, like, everyone, like, around me was like, you didn't do anything wrong, but, like, yeah, you caught yourself. I'm like, I don't, yeah, I mean, I, I'm like, I don't know, I wasn't gonna go talk to her anyways. I mean, like, that, it's just what you do, you know. You know, you don't dip, you don't drink your own Kool-Aid, you know. Uh, but I, yeah, I want to say I didn't do anything. But uh, that's, yeah, that was a very, that was very bad. Um, and that was a little bit of a scare. You know how some people have, like, pregnancy scares or, like, real cancer scares? I'm like, I had a pedophile scare. <laughs> that was what I had. I'm like, look, I didn't talk to her at all. Uh, she can say whatever she wants, but she does not have the receipts to prove that I did anything, you know. And also, don't, you know, don't. Fellas, don't date underage women. That's bad, okay? And I would usually, and usually, I even get like the age of like their age too. You know, I'm like, oh, so how old are you? You know, like what year did you graduate high school? And then if they were like, oh, I'm not, I'm still in high school. I'm like, all right, I'm out. Uh, you know, shit like that. You know, it's like I didn't talk to her at all and stuff like that. So um, it reminds me of when Blink One Eight Two. Apparently, like they would, you know, they'd play shows, and a lot of times they'd probably play at like. 21 up places and they'd be like show us your titties and like girls show the titties and then they started playing like you know in venues that are like allowed all ages and they're like oh we can't ask that anymore because we don't want to see underage titties stuff like that so uh this is my warning to everyone be careful out there um don't play yourself congratulations you played because i played myself and uh i just want to be honest about that and tell everyone what's going on in case someone else wants to like but like, you know that guy he likes younger church women no i don't just trying to be a good entertainer, okay? Don't don't hate me for that. So I'm just being honest, you know. I probably most people are like, "Why would you talk about this on a podcast?" I'm like, "Cause I'm being honest with y'all. I make mistakes. I I'm not perfect. 
Oprah doesn't even support Dr. Oz anymore. She supports Fetterman. Elections going to be on Tuesday and Wednesday. This could be all be irrelevant. So, anyways, though, yeah, don't don't talk to underage girls. That's bad. Okay, don't don't do that. Don't do that. It's bad. Um, here's the other story. So let's go in the complete opposite direction of what I was just saying. So the night before rehearsal dinner and the bar we were hanging out with afterwards, um, I made a statement where I said, you know, I could probably kiss a guy on the mouth, no tongue, but I could probably just kiss him on the mouth and like not be grossed out by it. But like the moment my tongue goes into someone's mouth, I'm like, ugh, it's a guy, you know, a man, you know, it's gross, you know. I'm like, that's probably where I draw the line. You know, so it was like, you know, as a joke, I'd just kiss a guy. And so everyone, you know, obviously when you say that, what? Uh, the entire night's like, okay, go kiss a man tonight. I'm like, look, I'll do it. The problem is it needs to be consensual because if it's not consensual, uh, you know, that's just, that's just assault, you know. And so there's a one guy, I'm not going to say his name on my show, but uh, he, but I guess we joke around. He's kind of a goofball too. And so I was like, I'm going to kiss you tomorrow. And he's like, okay, don't do it. I'm like, and then I just kept saying it. I'm like, I'm going to kiss you tonight. And he's like, no. And then there's one point I came up to him and I was about to kiss him. And he's like, later. And then, like, I went away. And then the moment came, they're like, Sam, come kiss you know who, this guy. And then I just, like, went up and kissed him. Uh, and there is a picture out there. It's pretty blurry. I'm not going to show it on here. But if it somehow circulates the internet, that's the story behind it. This This whole thing is like here's exp- explaining stories that have happened just getting out in front of it before the rest of the internet finds out that's all i'm doing today folks is just doing that shit uh so yeah i did i did kiss a guy on the lips um and then i get like a what was it the text i got uh, this morning uh i got to read just like it's so fucking funny uh, it was just a group chat, and it was just like, do I remember correctly, or did Sam kiss, did Sam kiss, you know who, Saturday night? And then it was like, yep, right on the lips. Uh, I thought I remember something showing me that, someone showing me that picture, and there's the picture. It's probably going to circulate the internet soon, and just be like, me kissing. Probably going to be able to find it. I'd be surprised if it doesn't. But a lot of times people po- don't post pictures like that on their own Facebook, so uh, we're, we're going to see where, where my life goes. Anyways, out there, but there's now a picture of me out there on someone's iCloud of just me kissing another man. Uh, and people are like, how do you not have shame? Like, I don't know. I think it's just it's just funny enough to me where I don't care. And people are like, you're gay. And I'm like, well, okay. Doesn't mean I have to fuck dudes. Like, let's be honest. Just because you kiss another man doesn't mean you have to fuck them. Okay? But, uh, yeah, I'm going to end this little segment here. Uh, I wanted to talk about... Um, Stealing things from weddings. Now, uh, you probably shouldn't steal things from weddings, and usually it's kind of a dick move to steal things from weddings. Uh, but I'm built different, so I thought, hmm, I should steal something. And so I, you know, I was just you know, thinking, like, what could I steal that's not replaceable? You know, like, if I steal a wedding gift, that's just trashy, you know, just, like, stealing that, you know. It's just it's just weird and, uh, like, you know, it's just, it's just in bad taste. So... Um, I'm going to describe it, but I'm going to also show it here for all the, uh, for all the, uh, audio listeners out there. It's, uh, the sign, uh, that says gifts on it, uh, the sign that was at the table for everyone to place their wedding gifts at, uh, this is where I, uh, decided, uh, to steal, it just says gifts. They found out, uh, and they're not happy I took it, but I thought it's, uh, Oh, yeah, because they can't replace this, because it's just a sign that says gifts. And, uh, yeah, so, uh, for everyone wondering, uh, you always gotta find the right things to steal. Like, family photos, you can't replace those. Uh, a sign that says gifts, you kinda can't replace it, but apparently they want it back. But, uh, I have it and they don't, and that's the real story. So, uh, here's to feeling good all the time, folks. Hey there, you just checked out a highlight from Cancel Shweezy. Thank you very much. I'm glad that you learned something and that you are now a smarter individual. Uh, Just so you know, we have full episodes and other many, many highlights available now. Uh, Click here for the next best thing that you can go check out as well. And uh, make sure you press that subscribe button and press that notification bell. That way you get updated anytime we make a new post or any time that we make a new highlight or full episode. So thank you, honk if you love butt drugs, and stay awesome.